welcome back to another Doctor Who product review. Today I'm going to take a look at yet another Doctor Who Steelbook release, this time around being the complete tenth series of course starring Peter Capaldi as the twelfth Doctor for the final ever time, Pearl Mackey as Bill Potts and of course Matt Lucas as Nardole. Now once again, Alice X Zhang has returned to do the illustration artwork for the Steelbook piece and once again, as per usual, looks absolutely stunning. Recommended retail is around £47.99. I do believe that it is a UK Amazon exclusive, so if it doesn't come back in stock, it is looking like that this product is gone for good, much like the Series 9 one. For some reason, still books are just incredibly expensive. I don't particularly know why, but they do look pretty nice. Before I even get into this steelbook review, I'd just like to point out there is also, of course, the standard edition, including the Blu-ray, as well as a standard actual DVD, which actually, for the first time in quite a few years, actually looks very visually appealing. On the front, it has a rather simplistic cover with the Twelfth Doctor in kind of like a purpley rainbow design along with a white backdrop, and to be quite honest, it looks pretty good. I actually think for once, they've actually put a bit of effort into that design, and I'm quite happy with how it looks. I've even seen it in store, and it actually looks pretty nice. So, to be honest, if you actually end up getting that one as a to this one is not exactly too much of a loss. So I'd just like to point out that in this review I will not be going into each individual episode because I previously already reviewed each episode upon airing so if you are interested in my thoughts and feelings for all the episodes throughout series 10 including the Doctor Mysterio and Twice Upon a Time then I do recommend checking out my full episode reviews. Speaking of Twice Upon a Time I would also just like to point out that this release although it is called the complete 10th series doesn't in fact include Twice Upon a Time because it was released before Christmas. It includes the Doctor Mysterio along with the rest of series 10 and if you want to get twice upon a time you need to get the singular release so that is something that a few people may have missed out however it is actually on the coding apparently on bbc america as series 10 episode 14 so technically speaking this is not the complete 10th series even though it actually is and on other websites it's said that this episode is just a 2017 special so depending on where you actually put twice upon a time between the serial list this isn't actually on this release anywhere so taking a look at the actual still book itself much like the majority of releases at the very bottom we get this cardboard sleeve piece along with the Doctor Who logo as well as the BBC logo along with the complete 10th series and a continuation of the cover artwork on the front. At the very bottom we get a 6th disc set logo along with the ratings of the set which is of course a 12 and then on the sides of the sleeve we just get the regular DVD information printed once again. On the back of the sleeve we get the majority of the details about this release so as you can see at the very top we get starring Peter Capaldi and Pearl Mackey and below this we get the complete 10th series episode list. This includes the return of Doctor Mysterio, the Pilot, Smile, Thin Ice, Knock Knock, Oxygen, Extremis, The Pyramid at the End of the World, The Lie of the Land, Empress of Mars, The Eaters of Light, World Enough of Time, and the series finale, The Doctor Falls. Is also accompanied by a very nice art image of, of course, Pearl Mackey there, which is exactly the same artwork that is on the back of the still book itself. And then, of course, at the very bottom, we do get a bit of information about the actual special features on this release, which, if you would like to read through some of those, then I do recommend pausing now. At the very bottom, once again, we get a little bit of company information and DVD information about this release, along with the feature length running time, which is, of course, 615 minutes approx. So we get over 10 hours of Doctor Who media on this release, which, to be honest, for the price, I think is actually pretty good. It's a little bit unsure to start with, but I think £47 is actually a pretty decent price for it you do get this release I really do recommend actually keeping this sleeve because it does have all that information and details upon and I do believe that on the actual discs themselves it doesn't include any of that information whatsoever so yeah this is a rather handy piece of card to keep in your life I do recommend that. So sliding off the steelbook now and taking a look at the rest of the contents on the inside starting off we do have this little bit of information 2018 calendars and diaries how lovely so we get one for Strictly Come Dancing, Planet Earth 2, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Sherlock, Top Gear, yay. And then we have only fools and horses, because why not? So yeah, that's just a thing that if you want to buy more Doctor Who stuff or more general BBC stuff, then you can do that. At least it's not a BBC star advertisement, because that thing doesn't exist anymore. And then we also get some art cards, which is a rather nice little addition, something of which I didn't expect. Even though it sits on Amazon, I do believe that you get them. i kind of forgotten about them, to be honest. I think there is three inside of this. I do believe that these also come with regular release as well, so yeah, that is a benefit for that. So starting off, get a holographic card there of the 12th Doctor. As you turn it, we do have a little bit of a regeneration energy effect, which is rather cool, along with Peter's rather wild-looking hair, so that's rather nice. Not exactly the most exciting holographic card in the world. Next up, we have Pearl Mackey, which is a rather fun one. We get Pearl there, and then we get a Cyberman, so I waited for you. There we go. I'm making that joke again, as with everybody. But yeah, then we also have one final one, which includes the Master 
going into John Sim, then going into Michelle Gomez, then going into John Sim again. So yeah, that's rather fun, and they do smell rather weird. I can smell them all the way from over here, and I'm sat behind the camera. But yeah, that's a rather nice little addition. Not exactly anything too special, to be honest. I quite like the normal art cards that are non-holographic, and they just have some stylish stuff on the front. Maybe even these Stuart Manning ones. Those would have been really nice to see, although I don't think that he does them for the BBC anymore. But yeah, generally overall, I like these. They're a nice little addition, kind of like pad out the set. Taking a look at the actual still book itself now, as I was saying earlier, this was illustrated by Alex X Zhang, the same person who does the Titan Comics covers and quite a lot of other Doctor Who related artwork, including the Series 9 still book. And to be quite honest, it looks absolutely beautiful. I would love an actual print of this release at some point, maybe a giant poster or something like that. I think it's brilliant the way that she used lots of contrasting colours. As you can see, we get this rather sort of watercolory style of effect with Peter Capaldi there nicely at the very front with the different strands of hair nicely blowing everywhere. And I really do like this sort of rainbowy effect in the background there, almost a bit of a fire design actually that is then reflected onto the actual face itself. Many different creases, many different bits of detail on this. The detailing is very sharp and I am very impressed with how it's turned out. And then of course at the very bottom we do get the detailing of the different pieces of clothing as well, including the rather nice velvety jacket and the shirt there as well. Generally overall I really do like this. Alice has done an absolutely incredible job. On the side once again, much at the Series 9 release, we do get the Doctor Who logo along with Series 10 nicely printed. Unfortunately I do believe that this isn't consistent with the other Doctor Who Series 1 and 2 still books that are currently out, because I'm presuming we'll no doubt see another Doctor Who Series 10 and Series 9 still book at some point to probably coincide with the new designs that are coming out for the older series. Of course, on the very back, we get another image, this time of Pearl Mackey as Bill Potts. Once again, absolutely brilliant. A similar compliments with the different designs here of the nice watercolor effect, especially on the hair bringing out all those different strands. Also, a very nice lightness of Pearl Mackey there. I love the contrast between the ribbon that she's got in her hair and the skin as well. Lots of different details in there. Once again, looking rather scratched, as you can see down here, the way they've sort of replicated this lighter section than the darker pieces coming around the side. And then even the facial expression, once again, very much like Pearl Mackie. They're very nicely detailed. We have the pupils and the eyelashes and the lips very nicely recreated. I'm really impressed with this. And at the very back, I also like the way that we get this sort of more darker vortex design in there as well. And then taking a look at the sides of the steel book, nothing really too much to talk about. Just sort of your average design, really, with a little bit of watercolour around the side as well as Bill's necklace that is rather shiny. I think that generally a nice thing that steelbooks have is when you sort of glimmer them in the light there is a rather nice shiny effect behind them. The same for the opposite side as well as you can see it's all very shiny and very nice although the same issues with every single steelbook if you drop them they can scratch. Though it is in fact a metal as opposed to a more sort of plasticky standard release I think that this is still something that is definitely worth keeping in safe hands as opposed to a regular DVD but yeah I would be very cautious about this because you won't want to pay £47 or something and then for it to get a massive scratch down the very front. So yeah, do be careful with them and do not drop them because that will probably hurt them in some way even though it doesn't have feelings. I don't know. I think that's something to mention at this point is I really do like the consistency. As you can see we have the Doctor and the Companion in the background here. And then taking a look at the Series 9 release we do also have the Doctor and the Companion in the very background of course hidden by the actual discs. And the same thing of course applies for the cover art. As you can see you have the two different variations of the 12th Doctor there. And then of course on the very back we do also get the variations of the companion so I do really like this format it's something of which I would like to see a little bit more of in the future however I do like also the series one and two designs as well I think that they are very appealing and but I generally think that Alice X Zhang's work also is incredibly nice she's incredibly talented and I think that generally I buy these releases alone just for her artwork and as you can see on the very front there I really like that consistency just giving a minute to appreciate the lining of the logo and the text that is very nice I do quite like that sad people with consistency like me very much appreciate these things. Look at the actual disc artwork. Now there isn't actually that much in it to be honest. I do believe that these are exactly the same to the standard edition also. So once again we get the repetition of the backdrop that is in fact seen within the steel book on the front there. So we have disc 1, disc 2, disc 3 and then it goes all the way to disc 6 of course which unfortunately all of these are exactly the same. I did in fact expect to have different characters on each disc much like how we had with series 9. As you can see just bringing back the series 9 steel book for a second here we have Hellbent there and then we have the Magician's Apprentice along the episodes listed on the side with the characters relating to those stories which to me a big massive flaw with this is in fact that we don't have what episodes are on the discs on the actual discs themselves. You kind of just 
just need to work it out in your head. So naturally, disc one will include Doctor Mysterio, the pilot, and Smile, I'm presuming, and then it'll go on like that, maybe three or four episodes per release. I don't particularly know. But either way, it would have just been nice to maybe have one, some variations with artwork, maybe have Missy on some, Nardole, a Mondesian Cyberman, John Sims Master, Mysterio release, I don't know, a Smile robot or something like that. And then even still, just as a minimum to have that design on there, but a sheer minimum for me is maybe just a little bit of text down here that actually says what episodes are on the release so I actually know what I'm putting into my Blu-ray player. It's just a minor little thing that I wish it kind of had on it because even though it probably won't take long to work out, it just makes life a little bit easier, doesn't it? And naturally, I do believe that all of the episodes go up to disc 5 in this and then the final disc is in fact all of the special features, I believe. So yeah, a nice little spread of stuff and I'm glad that we get a whole disc of the special features but at the same time, it just would have been nice to maybe have a bit of detail on to actually tell you what is on the disc, much like how we had with the Series 9 release. Three discs go on this side and three discs go on this side, so you could essentially have discs one to three in this one and then four to five in this one and then you could essentially get rid of the disc six with just the special features and then bring on the twice upon a time disc and put that in there to essentially have the whole of the complete series 10 if you so wish and maybe just have this one dangling on the inside or something like that i don't know it's up to you but yeah generally overall just would have been nice to see a few different improvements in the dvd disc department Overall, just as a general comparison to some of the other Doctor Who still books released, as you can see generally overall, it fits in really well with the other pieces of artwork that we've seen so far. However, I think one of the main crucial things that we need, I'm really hoping that the Series 8 still book doesn't follow this design because I think it would just be incredibly nice to have once again them returning to the Alex Zhang format and having the 12th Doctor on one side and then Clara on the other and then we have the three variations of the 12th Doctor going all the way through so we'll have the more dark side of the 12th Doctor the rocker side of the 12th Doctor and then the series 10 version of the 12th Doctor and then it sort of shows the whole journey all the way through. Select audio navigation, press enter now taking a look at the special features on this release because this is a Doctor Who YouTube related video due to copyright I can't actually show you what the special features are even if I film the TV screen and actually voice over what is going on on screen hardly anything whatsoever that still apparently gets struck down for copyright even though I'm using it for review purposes so that is incredibly annoying so instead this video is mainly going to consist of the menu selection sequences and me talking about those without actually showing you the special features themselves so that is incredibly annoying but at the same time you know we just gonna need to put up with it these days. The production sequence for this year's DVD is in fact a little bit unusual. We just have the Doctor Who letters floating around the screen with a few little behind the scenes images of certain sequences throughout the TV show itself. Generally I think that this is quite nice with it being simplistic, something of which that you can expect from modern media recently. I still do think it is a little bit of a step down compared to that of the Series 9 steelbook that actually had some rather nice CGI of the confession dial and different parts of the series sort of coming out of it like memories or something like that but I still quite like this. It's not necessarily Really bad in any way, it's just quite simplistic, and I kind of just expected a little bit more. Just also taking a look at these scene selector sequences now for each disc, it is pretty much exactly the same. And what you kind of come to expect, it's the scene selector, you get six choices from the episode. However, something that is nice to see this time around is, as you can see, this is disc four with Lie of the Land on, and we actually have an image from Lie of the Land on the Lie of the Land menu. Then going and taking a look at the following episode, which is, of course, the Empress of Mars going to the bottom with the episode selector there. As you can see, once again, exactly the same layout with a picture of the Ice Queen at the very top there, along some scene selector things from the actual story. So yeah, pretty much our average scene selector. Disc 1 of Series 10 in fact includes quite a wide variety of stuff, including the Doctor Who extra to the return of Doctor Mysterio that is surprisingly long. It is in fact pretty much a whole episode of Doctor Who Confidential and it is a same that naturally each episode doesn't have a behind the scenes that goes into so much detail. However, it's something that we've kind of came to expect with later seasons of Doctor Who as Confidential, of course, no longer is on TV. You also get the Doctor, a new kind of hero that is basically a little bit of a behind the scenes into the previous series of the 12th Doctor so far, along with Pilot, which is a little bit of a behind the scenes into the first story of the series, along with Becoming the Companion, which is an interview with Pearl Mackie, and Out of This World, which is a little bit of a recap with all the companions that we've had so far within the new series. Disc 2, there isn't really too much going on, we just have the inside looks for Smile, Thin Ice and Knock Knock, which are pretty much available on the official Doctor Who YouTube channel anywhere, along with two additional behind the scenes documentaries for Smile and Knock Knock. So it's nice to see a little bit of bonus material on this release that is in fact exclusive and once again going into the actual behind the scenes making of the TV show itself.
behind the scenes for disc 3 now as you can see there isn't really much going on with this disc either we just have the inside looks for episodes oxygen extremis and pyramid at the end of the world however something that baffles me is as you can see we have a massive image of smile on this dvd even though that smile isn't actually on this release and to be honest it wouldn't have exactly took much to just change this image to an episode relevant to the following episodes that are on this disc but hey for some reason we just have an image of smile there so it would have been nice to maybe see something a little bit different disc 4 special feature and we're still taking a look at that image from Smile for some weird reason. So this time around, surprise, surprise, we get the inside look for Live, The Land, The Empress of Mars, and The Eaters of Light, which once again are all available from the Doctor Who official YouTube channel, so nothing really too exciting there. However, we also have a little bit of a documentary thing about Rona Munro, which I do think is exclusive, so I'll probably actually watch that now. Rona Munro documentary that I can't actually show you how helpful, thanks YouTube, is in fact quite nice. Once again, it is an exclusive piece for this DVD, and I actually think that has been really nicely directed. There's a few segments that have in fact been filmed in the Doctor Who experience, along with a few flashback sequences to survival, of course, the last ever classic Doctor Who story that is by far Ron Monroe's most superior Doctor Who story. But yeah, generally overall, it's nice to see a little bit of development, and actually show how she came up with the ideas and things like that, and generally just a little bit behind the scenes is quite nice. We're going to look at the fifth disc now, which includes the final episodes of series 10, so naturally we do get the inside looks for World Enough in Time and The Doctor Falls. World Enough in Time and Doctor Falls Confidential piece is pretty much the same as the Mysterio one, a little bit more extended in format. We do get to see a little bit more behind the scenes than usual going into the different photo shoots, especially the reveal of the new Mondesian Cybermen. And I think that if any of the episodes on this release to in fact get a behind the scenes a little bit more going into the depth of the story, I would want it to be the series finale. This includes some interviews with John Sim, Michelle Gomez, Matt Lucas, Pearl Mackey, Peter Capaldi, Stephen Moffat in there as well. And I do believe a few pieces from Rachel Turner, of course, the person that did direct this episode so that is nice to see basically anything that relates to doctor who confidential these days is nice because we don't really expect that much these days genuinely don't know what this is oh that's magical i like that one of the other nice features on disc 5 is the Doctor Who The Final Countdown, which is something of which that I do believe was live in Cardiff, and it's just nice to see a little bit more of additional sort of soundtrack material, considering we've not actually seen the Series 9 or Series soundtrack yet released, which hopefully that will be at some point in the near future, but hey, I quite like this. I kind of like orchestral stuff, so yeah, this is a nice little bonus feature, and once again, I do believe exclusive. For this year, the deleted scenes aren't in fact anything too impressive. Because of the Series 9 one, we've actually got quite a few few large sections of different parts, especially with Lady Me and then the Shoulder character from the early half of Series 9. For that release, we in fact got a few more in-depth sequences. This time around for the Series 10 box set, in fact, just seems to be a little bit more filler segments of what we see throughout the stories that normally would in fact be deleted out, and I can see why they have been deleted out, because there isn't really too much going on. So yeah, there isn't really too much to comment on with those, which is a shame, but still, I didn't really expect much anywhere. The thing that I forgot to mention on the Knock Knock disc is I do believe that if you want to access the more sort of special effects -y sound edition. I can't remember what they called it, it was something complicated. Basically, I do believe that it is the fourth option along where it conveniently says audio options. I'm presuming it's on there. I've not actually checked. I can't bother to put the disc back in again. I am so professional, aren't I? Sixth and final disc for the Series 10 box set is in fact completely dedicated to the Doctor Who fan show, which is once again available in its entirety for free on the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. And I must say, it is quite nice that they've included it. I did have a few gripes of the previous series because I kind of felt that some of the episodes weren't exactly too professional. They didn't really go into too much depth about the actual episodes. But I have actually watched some of the interviews from this year, such as the one with David Suchier from Knock Knock, and even some of the interviews with Stephen Moffat and Peter Capaldi. And also the Twice Upon a Time one, which I know isn't actually on this release, but hey, it's an episode of a fan show that I can still kind of include it anyway. And even Hayley Nabua, who does the costume designs as well, I actually think that some of the interviews this year round have in fact been rather in-depth, and I think that I like the detail that they've gone into, so I think it is actually a little bit of a step up from the previous year worth of fan show episodes. So yeah, I'm probably guessing that they will be on the discs in the future, so it's nice that they've included it if you do like the fan show. However, if you don't, I guess you can kind of just ignore that this disc exists. I'm actually quite surprised to see that there isn't actually any trail options available on this release. I don't know if I've just missed them or anything like that, but normally on the majority of releases they do in fact have sort of a summarization of all the teaser trailers and normally the episode trailers in there as well, along with the actual launch trailer from the series. And from what I can see, it's actually not included on this release whatsoever. So I'm a little bit disappointed by that, but at the same time it's not exactly a big issue. It would have just been nice to see them, but still the same natural sort of complaints of the newer box sets where we don't 
don't really have too much behind the scenes, especially not as much as we did with say, Series 1 or Series 2. So it would be nice to see a little bit more depth into that. With Series 11 with Chibnall, considering it might be a little bit more tight with spoilers and things like that, we might actually see a bit of a return to the behind the scenes format, showing how the episodes are made and the different sort of sequences that took place behind the scenes. But yeah, that will be nice, but I'm not exactly expecting much in the future anyway. To be quite honest, I think that not having much behind the scenes is kind of the norm these days on the majority of DVDs and Blu-rays features on this release now we do in fact have quite a wide variety of course the majority of the special features on this release are available for free anywhere on the official doctor who youtube channel along with the doctor who fan show as well you can get all of that for free but i do think the actual exclusive stuff including the documentary with rona monroe the behind the scenes of the doctor mysterio and the world enough in time confidential sequence is in fact a rather nice amount to actually have on this release it would have been nice to see more and i think that the stuff that has actually been filmed directly for this piece has been really nicely produced it actually feels like some effort has going to it for once yeah i'm very happy with that however it would be nice to see some of the more promotional material side of stuff because normally with the series one and two steelbook releases we got the trailers and the teaser trailers that we got in the official launch trailer for the series along with generally a little bit more of that advertising stuff even the next time trailers and that for some reason isn't on this release in case i've accidentally missed it or something like that but i'm actually quite surprised to see that the trailers aren't on there it's something that generally that i do expect to have however with them just being trailers it's not exactly any think too big and you're not really missing out because once again those are available for free online anywhere yeah generally overall for special features nothing really too special but at the same time quite a nice wide variety it's just a shame that i can't actually show you it because hey that would have made this review a little bit more easier Overall, for the Doctor Who Series 10 Steelbook, physically, it is actually a really nice piece. I think that, once again, Alice X. Zhang has done an absolutely excellent job on the cover, and it is what you come to expect from a normal Steelbook, because literally every single Steelbook is the same, just with a different image printed on the front. And I do think that if you're a Doctor Who fan, especially if you like Series 10 or the 12th Doctor, then you should definitely buy this release. I think it is very pretty, and you may want to put it on display. And I think that, generally, if you are to decide to get any of the releases, and you have the choice between the Steelbook one or the Standard Edition, then I do recommend the steelbook for the actual recommended retail price however actually complain about the physical discs themselves i think that generally it just would have made natural sense to actually have on them what is on the actual disc because i don't think i've ever bought something that is an actual box set and it doesn't say this is disc one includes episodes one to five or whatever it actually needs to give the details of what is on the discs just to make the actual experience of watching to the product a little bit more easier speaking about the actual digital side of the dvd itself i think that generally the blu-ray and all the directing and generally overall series 10 absolutely looks stunning i think that the cgi is wonderful along with the actual scripting itself some really good episodes in there and the blu-ray is definitely something that i do recommend if you have a blu-ray player however naturally for the special features we don't really get too much on this release i think that when you take away all the things that aren't actually exclusive to this dvd such as the fan show and all the inside look documentary things that are in fact quite small and under 10 minutes anyway there isn't really too much however it is nice to see from what we actually get on this release including the behind the scenes companion documentary the interview with pearl mackey and the behind the scenes for dr mysterio and the doctor falls is still nice to see those on there it just will be nice to see a little bit more behind the scenes in the future a little bit more of that confidential stuff a little bit more scripting to screen which i do hope is something that does reoccur in series 11 and 12 in the future but hey only time will tell i guess the current time of filming this product is available on amazon however it's not the recommended retailer it is in fact around 60 odd pounds which i do not recommend it for that price i think that by far if you just want a physical edition of series 10 then i recommend buying the standard one because i do believe it's currently on reducing hmv for 24.99 however if you do have the actual choice to get it for the normal recommended retail at some point i definitely do recommend it that's really it for this release if you have any questions about this product then please do leave them in the description below and i'll definitely reply to them at some point in the near future thanks again for watching as i'll see you all in another doxy video at some point in the near future thanks again for watching as i'll see you all next time bye for now